The nominee for a crucial treasury position in the Biden administration said he wants to limit China's global lending influence. Jay Shambaugh is President Biden's choice for Treasury Undersecretary for International Affairs. He has served as an economic advisor to the Obama administration. During his confirmation hearing before the Senate Finance Committee on Tuesday, Shambaugh explained how he plans to achieve Washington's goals. For one, he says the U.S. should work with international financial institutions and development banks. Together, they'd give other countries alternatives to borrowing from communist China. He pointed out the competition between China's state-controlled economic model and the U.S. model, driven by rule of law, transparency and free markets. He added China should no longer be considered a developing country, noting all developing countries are eligible for World Bank loans. Let's take a closer look at that point. Last year, the World Bank introduced a plan to lend China $1 to $1.5 billion every year through low interest rates. That was planned to continue for five years. The U.S. objected to the move, saying China should no longer be considered a developing country. But the World Bank didn't side with the objection. And even before that plan, the World Bank had already given China billions of dollars in aid. At the same time, the communist regime has been lending hundreds of billions of dollars to dozens of countries through its Belt and Road Infrastructure Initiative. Experts say the project helps expand Beijing's influence on the world stage.